Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today my sister had asked me, can I please decorate for her um, event? She was having an Easter party. She invited some friends and of course she invited me and um, my kids and stuff like that. She really asked me if I can decorate a table for her. And of course I said yes, but don't get me wrong, this literally stressed me out because I have never done this before for nobody. I have only decorated for my own house, my kids' birthday parties and stuff like that. Now, the reason why this had me stressed out is because, you know, it's different when you do it for someone else and you know she had friends coming over and i wanted this event to look kind of decent now she told me um, get out your fear and just decorate like it's for your own house and don't worry about it because remember this is something i really want to do in my future i want to become an event planner so here you're gonna see how we set everything up and of course my kids did help me so it did help me a lot because it didn't take so long. I think it roughly took me an hour to two hours to decorate this area right here and I did a backdrop outside um, as well. Here are my three kids, they're helping me put up the table and the tablecloth. You're not going to see it here on the video but my daughter did uh, iron and steam the tablecloth for me. Right here in this clip, you see me and my oldest son. He's 17 years old, helping me put the backdrop stand. I got that backdrop stand arch from Amazon. Fairly inexpensive, only for $15. And I do recommend to put tape, guys, because as you can see, you're going to see soon, that because I didn't tape it, it snapped up. And you don't want that to happen if you are making an event and someone is paying you for it. Um, so all the silver... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but where you see me snapping it in, those little silver spots there, I did put tape on it. Um, and um, what is it called? I think it's uh, electric tape, black electric tape. As you can see there, that's where it snapped up and then my nephew came on over and helped me bring it down and then my son just attached it to the other side. But before this clip, I did um, start taping everything together so it won't snap again. And then as you can see, all my kids are helping me blow up the balloons. They're using the hand pump. I do have an electric pump, but I wanted all my balloons to kind of be exactly the same size. Now guys, they are not perfect. Like I said, this is my first time doing a balloon arch. So I got all my balloons from Amazon. I got the tablecloth from Amazon and the balloon arch from Amazon. I'll try to remember to tell you from everywhere that I got all my supplies and the balloon pumps that they are using, they're also from Amazon. Comment down below some great websites or wherever you get your supplies from. I would love to know and maybe it can help out other event planners that are starting off and they don't know where to get their supplies at. Here you see me putting up some foil balloons. They also came from Amazon. And then my daughter's handing me over some, they're called Ooglu dashes mm -hmm. that I also mm -hmm. got from Amazon as well. So the balloon, the foil balloons and the Ooglu dashes, I got it from Amazon as well. Here you see everybody coming on over and saying hi to me. Everybody was kind of still sleeping when I showed up to my sister's house. And the, everybody was while everybody was waking up while I was already decorating because I wanted to have everything done before her friends came over. All right, here you'll see me and my daughter starting to take everything out of the bins, the totes, the 
I don't know how you call them, a bint or tote, however you call them, those plastic bins. I you seen them at the beginning of the video that I packed everything up. So now here we're taking everything out of the bins and trying to set everything up those crates i got them from walmart the happy easter sign over there i got it from bake lots those um baskets i got them from michael's i don't know if you've seen my videos before they're called um five, michael's five dollar grab boxes so those baskets i got them from there that uh, water flower pot there i got them also from i think it was big lots or michael's or joanne's either or i got that from Also, a lot of the decorations that we're putting on the table, I also got them from my $5 grab boxes from Michaels. That Easter bunny you see over there on my right, I got that one from Michaels. Right now, Michaels and Joanne's had everything off for Easter, so I recently just went over and grabbed all the sales. Right now, I think Michaels has almost everything for 70% off. So those lambs right by my feet, I also got them from Michaels on sale. All those ceramic Easter eggs, I got them last year from my $5 grab boxes. That Easter bunny that's on near my daughter, the one that's holding the carrot, I just got that from Walmart. Those lanterns, I got them from Big Lots. They were $20 each and the little one was only $15. Okay, here you're going to see my daughter set up one side. She's putting moss and those baby chicks that she's putting there. I got those from Amazon as well. That blessed our nest in the bottom. I got them from Michael's. I told you guys right now everything's on sale for Easter. So that's what she's putting there. She's also going to be putting some eggs around the chicks and some eggs in the bottom. let me tell you guys that moss is so so messy like i mean it looks nice but it's so messy we had to keep sweeping every single thing around because it was everywhere guys All right, this is the other side of the table. So like I said, that happy Easter sign on the top, I got it from Big Lots. That bunny that I have on my hand, I got it from Michael's. That bird, it actually turns on and it um, has like a chirping sound. It was from Big Lots. Those three lambs from Michael's, all the wood um, crates from Walmart, and the grass and the moth, I got it from Michael's. Now you can find those at Dollar Tree, but I didn't know how much I was going to need. So I just got the big bags from Michael's and those carrots, I got them from Amazon. Actually those carrots, they're ornaments and we just ripped off the ornament piece and then we just put them there. Well, my daughter put it there for me. Now we're just going to start putting everything together on the table. We're going to put those baskets on top of those candle holders. We're going to put those shreds. And I got those Easter sh color shreds from Michael's in my grab boxes. They're called grab bags, guys. But here my area to give us grab boxes for $5. It's 
um, after every major holiday. So after Easter, after Valentine's, St. Patrick's, check out your local Michaels. They usually have $5 graph bags and you don't know what you have inside until you get home. Anyways, all those color shreds, I got them last year and we put in some inside of the baskets and we're going to fill it up almost to the top and then we're going to put Easter eggs on top. Okay, while my daughter's finishing up putting all the eggs where they belong, I'm going to start assembling the two cupcake stands. I also got them from Amazon. They do come in white and gold and white and silver. I got the gold one just to match the theme and they were fairly inexpensive. Okay, as you can see there, I'm putting them together and my daughter has them tiny little cupcake holders that I also got from Amazon and she's putting these bunny ceramics that I bought like the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil little bunnies. And she's gonna put them on the left because my sister had a like a display stand uh, built in in the wall so my daughter's gonna put those over there Also, like I said, in my Michael grab boxes last year and almost every year, I get tons and tons of flowers and plants in my grab boxes. So I have a ton, a ton of flowers and I did pack some up and I didn't know quite sure what I was going to do with them. But I'm so happy I did bring tons of flowers over because, like I said, this is my first time doing a balloon arch and it had gaps and I didn't like how you can see the pole. So what I did was I tried to put all these flowers inside those gaps so i wouldn't be able to see that pole a lot and at the end i really really loved it it gave it so uh, such cute elegancy to the arch and my sister really loved it as well Okay, here you'll see my boys. They're outside. They're putting up the backdrop stand. I got this backdrop stand three to four years ago. This is the backdrop that I use to take pictures of my orders when I'm done. Take When I'm done doing my orders, I take pictures and then I send them to my customers and post them all around social media. So I didn't have to buy a backdrop stand. I got this from Amazon. They're um, inexpensive, but they're also DIY videos that you can make your own backdrop stand. Again, my phone died while they were assembling it. So all you see them is like just putting the poles up a little bit of the clip and then my phone died, guys. So I apologize. So 
so here's how everything turned out i got those inflatables from amazon the sequin curtains from amazon and that backdrop as well everything guys from amazon i think it came out pretty nice everyone was taking pictures at the end they really enjoyed it and loved it all the kids was like wow mom you did a good job and of course my nieces and nephews and my sister loved it and her friends as well here's also how everything turned out inside i really enjoyed doing this comment down below how you think i did again guys this is my first time i hope to improve with time going and the more i do it i hope to improve and you know make do this a lot faster I really enjoyed doing it and I give uh, such a thank you, thank you, thank you to my kids for helping me. Of course, my man as well. He was helping me assemble this and that. I didn't record him because he doesn't like to be recorded. But everything turned out beautifully. Everyone had so much fun. Everyone was playing games outside and I hope everyone enjoyed their Easter. I know I did. It's great to spend it with friends and family. Here's this clip of my kids and my nieces and nephews and their friends playing a balloon game that they got to tie balloons on their um, ankles and then they got to pop. Basically, the balloons is their life. Like they got three lives and then they got to try to pop everyone else's and the last one standing is the winner and they win a prize, guys. They had so much fun at the end. They were so tired and they had a great, great sleep at the end of the night. All right, guys, comment down below anything you would like to see from me if you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload any other videos. If you would like to see more videos like this, if I do decorate more, comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this. Again, I know this video was kind of all over the place, but this was my first time recording this. Okay, guys, I hope everyone has a blessed day and bye-bye.